screening strategies after the construction of genomic or cDNA libraries, next step is to detect a target clone. Before going to discuss the screening strategies, again I briefly uh, tell you about the definition of genomic library. If you remember, genomic library, it contain uh, recombinant fragments that are ligated into a suitable cloning vector and they represent the whole genomic uh, makeup of a particular organism. On the other hand, uh, jo cDNA library hai, uh, ye messenger RNA ki jo population hai, jo ke extract kiye gaye hai from particular tissue, ye usko represent karti hai. Ab hum different screening strategies ko discuss karenge, jo ke uh, particular clone ko from the thousand of clones, uh, is, isko detect uh, karne ke liye use ki ja sakti hai. These uh, screening strategies, they may be based on some genetic methods or uh, screening may be sequence dependent or expression product of uh, the clone, uh, it can be detected. As far as sequence dependent screening is concerned, here we can use DNA hybridization uh, techniques or PCR methods can also be uh, applied for this purpose. If we are going to use PCR method, here we need a set of primers that can detect a particular clone. And here keep in mind that PCR, it is not only to, not only used to detect a particular uh, target gene from uncloned or genomic DNA, it can also be used for the screening of a particular clone from genomic or cDNA libraries. On the other hand, if the expression uh, libraries are need to be screened, then the prerequisite may be that the cloned fragment must be expressed so that it may produce functional biological product that may be a protein. Now protein after expression, it can be detect detected by using uh, different type of techniques. For example, antibodies that are specific for, the, for that express protein, it can be used. Antibodies, they are highly specific in their reaction and they can uh, react with a particular uh, target protein. So, antibodies can be used to detect the expression uh, proteins. On the other hand, uh, biological function of the protein, it can be assayed by using uh, a suitable biological system. So, we can say that screening strategies, they may be based on genetic methods or sequence dependent screening may be there and screening of expressed libraries uh, can, be, uh, uh, can be there. And first we can focus on genetic methods. And one of the genetic method, it is selection for the presence of vector. If you remember, while we were discussing different type of cloning vectors, uh, then its detection, it was based on different methods. As far as selection for the presence of vector is concerned, different type of microbiological methods can be used in combination with genetic methods. Because when we are going to cultivate microbes that contain our recombinant vector, then it can be detected by using different selective media. If plasmid or cosmid, they are used as a cloning vector, then they contain different type of selectable markers. Or ye jo selectable markers hai, uh, in me drug resistance ke genes ho sakti hai, metal resistance ke gene ho sakti hai, or some nutritional markers may be there. If the selection, it is based on drug resistance, so here uh, after introducing the recombinant vector, that may be a plasmid or cosmid, then 
the host organism can be grown in the presence of selection pressure like the antibiotics like chloramphenicol can be used, ampicillin may be there, tetracycline may be there and then the recombinants that contain uh, our gene of choice it uh, may be able to grow on antibiotic supplemented medium. So only those microbes can survive uh, that have the resistance against antibiotics. So in this case antibiotic it can act as a selectable marker. On the other hand, if we have a look on other cloning vectors like the bacteriophage lambda, here the different type of lambda vectors can be used like replacement vectors are there, insertional vectors are there and their selection it may be based on different strategies. For example, in case of replacement vector where we can clone around 23 kilobase DNA fragment, here the size of the package DNA it will act as a selectable marker. And those uh, other phages that contain uh, only the viral uh, DNA arms like the right or left arm without the insertion of the foreign DNA, they are too small to be packaged. So the viable phages will not be produced. So here the size of the genomic DNA, uh, it will act as a selectable marker. On the other hand, in case of insertional vector, if you remember uh, the inactivation of beta-galactosidase gene, that when a foreign DNA is not inserted, this gene of beta-galactosidase, it will keep on expressing. So the plaques that are produced, they will be uh, blue in color because beta-galactosidase, it will degrade the x gol a chemical that is present in the medium and convert it into a blue color. So blue plaques indicate the ligation of the vector without the insertion of foreign DNA. On the other hand, if foreign DNA is inserted, the expression of beta-galactosidase gene it is inactivated and we will get colorless plaques. So in this case, uh, this strategy of genetic methods, it can be used to differentiate between the recombinant vector or uh, the native DNA or in other cases, the parent vector, it can also be are differentiated. So this is one of the strategy uh, by which we can use genetic method to detect our recombinant vector.